Alright, what is up jumpers? It's Chi. I just started training with Project Pure Athlete a few weeks ago, and this is a circuit I did with them. I'm probably going to be posting more of my training in future videos if that's something you guys want to see. So I was doing one set of each exercise in a row, and then I used the last exercise, the shin box, as a recovery. And then I started the circuit over again. If anybody's interested in getting their own training, make sure to go check them out at Project Pure Athlete on YouTube as well as Instagram. With remote trainings through an app where you'll be able to see all your workouts as well as communicate with the coaches. Coach Tyler, in addition to being a former track athlete and pro dunker, is a genius when it comes to understanding and coaching jump technique. On top of that, he also has an extensive background in strength and conditioning and I was able to be coached by him at the dunk camp last year. So I feel like I'm in good hands. So these broad jumps weren't part of the training that day, but I wanted to see how far I could go, have some fun with it, and just play with different types of technique. This is actually kind of a drill that I used when I was learning how to jump right left. I'm taking four steps out from the hoop, then I'm taking three steps to the left of the hoop for right left, or I'm taking three steps to the right of the hoop for left right. Make sure you're pushing into your last two steps, not jumping into them, and keep your torso more or less upright. If anybody's unsure of what a fuller penultimate stop might feel like, this is a great place to start. Trying to learn a new plant from a full approach didn't work out well for me. So this is how I dumbed it down for myself. Usually if the penultimate stride push off is taken care of, the rest of the jump will kind of follow suit. So here I did a little experiment. I took one extra step in the same amount of distance. You can see that I'm not able to be anywhere near as aggressive because my spacing from the hoop doesn't allow me to. All right, so my approach here is four steps. I do personally handle a bouncy approach pretty well, but the start of these approaches weren't properly spaced from the hoop. so here I started taking three steps. Even though I didn't make the dunks, I think it was a much more appropriate number of steps for the length of my approach. So if you're struggling with realizing the full length of your penultimate stride, it can be as simple as taking one less step in your approach, while of course leaving the approach length the same. So I can't go a dunk session without jumping off vert, so I was just trying CJ Champion's signature Captain Morgan dunk, trying to add my own little off vert spin to it. I even tried some one foot takeoffs, I was feeling really good this day. I want to start consistently dunking off one, as well as hopefully starting the journey to a one foot windmill. 